Hi everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass. And I am a targeted individual. Uh, I wanted to uh, express uh, how do you say it? I have a theory. And uh, the theory that I have is mine. It is my theory. No, nothing to do with brontosaurus. Oh. Excuse me. My theory is that in order to have a ubiquitous system of uh, RFID tracking, uh, neuro tracking, mind control, uh, a ubiquitous system, a system that is installed and functioning over the globe, globally, hooked into quantum computers, you know, huge mountainfuls of fucking computers, building loads of computers, all wired together into giant data storage, growing larger and larger every moment. Now we know the TIA program, Total Information Awareness, was started many, many years ago. Congress said, oh, don't do that. So they paid for it with Black Ops funding. And it went into secret dark cover. What is Total Information Awareness? TIA is the NSA program, or some offshoot of it, that records every internet transaction, every internet connection, every, every email sent, every uh, picture uploaded, downloaded, portal, everything on the internet. They're hooked directly in to the international lines. Now I got cops looking at me like I'm a fucking criminal. You watch, they're gonna come around the block again, they're gonna stop me. <laughs> and search me, because it happens all the fucking time. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? I really hate the way they look at me. Um, that big smile. Here's some fresh meat we can fuck with. Man, he's got drugs on him. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Fucking bastards. Haven't found any drugs yet because I don't have them. Anyway. Uh, the watchers don't like this when I tell the truth. So. For the first time in history, uh, we have had more than half the world's population owning a cell phone and using a cell phone. That's in all countries around the global, third world countries, Africa, all those places. They love cell phones. Okay, so there's some ambulance shit happening over by the school. Maybe that's what the police were there for. I don't know. But they looked at me like I was the next one on their list. Probably am. Anyway. So, you have cellular phone system that's ubiquitous throughout the, the world, globally. And uh, it is a phased array. That means multiple antennas, all wired into the same antenna focusing and control system. It's meant to track the user, <coughs> excuse me, as they walk and transport them from cell to cell while keeping the, the phone you know, connected. I know where you are. If I have a call for you, I can send it to you, routing it to whatever cell you're in. And the switchover is supposed to be non-noticeable. So, you have a global system of high-frequency microwaves. Uh, cell phones were in the 800 range. They changed that to public service. God knows what they're doing in there. Uh, cell phones run from uh, you know, one point something gigahertz up to about five, two point something five gigahertz, I don't know exactly. Combine that with Wi-Fi, which is ubiquitous. GPS, which is ubiquitous, global in nature. And you have basically, oh, and I forgot, the national grid. That's the new thing in this country. In America, there's a company called National Grid and they're wiring up the entire country with new, it's not that new, but uh, power systems that, that convey information, internet <laughs> over the power lines, um, monitoring of power, switch over, you know, blanket control, uh, excuse me.
Uh, so the power system is wired completely into a computer system, uh, networked in the entire country, uh, controllable and, and using microwaves. The cell phone system is ubiquitous. If everywhere you look, if you live in a populated area, you will see cell phone antennas. If you look up in the sky at the buildings behind me, you know, you'll see them. Where are they? Anyway, they're there, trust me. There's one over there, there's one over here, there's one that faces me, there's one here. They're supposed to be one block away from when they face your window. So, anyway, again, a, a computer controlled global network system. Granted, there's a few carriers, but they all interchange data and your phone can use their roaming and you know, blah, blah, blah. So it's all interconnected globally and with a phased array, if you start looking into what a phased array antenna system is, look at HARP, High Altitude Auroral Research Program. What are they doing? They're using a giant phased array system, hundreds of antennas, to send, you know, many, many, many millions of gigawatts, I don't know how many watts, up into the sky to bounce it off the ionosphere. Uh, that's what they claim. Ionic sounding is something that's been going on for a long time. All radio operators know about it. We bounce shit off the ionosphere to see how far it goes so we know whether our DX communications will travel globally or not, how far they'll go, etc., etc. Uh, sunspots, DX conditions, you know, all this stuff is important to electronics and radio, and we monitor it all. Uh, back to the phased array. Fast Fourier transform. Uh, FFT is mathematical algorithms that allow you to transform uh, data, numbers, geometry into data, numbers, geometry, pictures. Uh, look it up, Google it. What it allows you to do is basically take radio waves uh, or any other thing, light, etc., and focus it into beaming patterns, pulsing patterns that will produce the pattern or geometric shape or uh, radiation function that you desire. With a phased array set of antennas, you can change the phase, which means the time delay between one transmission of the, the signal and another copy of the transmission of the signal. And they're able to break the signal up into hundreds of antennas and determine within you know, picosecond accuracy or even finer the, the phase difference. And what does that allow you to do? Well, if you have a directional signal, like microwaves, high frequency directional signal, it's a very small wavelength that travels in a straight line, goes through stuff, or bounces off stuff, depending on what it is, what it's made out of, and how energetic the wave is, okay? Um, I lost my train of thought. These cops make me so nervous. I can't think when I'm nervous. Thank you, watchers. Um, so, phased array allows you to, using interferometry, which is the science of uh, waves adding together and subtracting each other based on phase. Like you throw two stones into the pond and the ripples interfere with each other and they make yet third ripples and fourth ripples. It's the same thing as the, 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 the beats when you hear two tones, one in each ear, it makes a third tone. It's the same thing with radio frequencies. When you take two radio frequencies and combine them, they make a third or fourth undertone, overtone, harmonic, depending on the spurious emissions and the bandwidth and all the other stuff. Um, you know, whether you're narrow banding, wide banding, uh, anyway. It allows you to shape the signal pattern. It allows you to shape the radiation waveform, the photonic emissions, whatever you're shooting out there. It allows you to shape it uh, and direct it, which means uh, targeting and other type of waveforms. Now, we know that we can modulate the human body with energetic... Uh, waves at particular frequencies that will affect the nervous system and uh, the, the, you know. Oh, well, the other thing that can be done with phased array is you can cancel the signals out entirely. But through the law of conservation of energy, we know no matter, uh, energy cannot be created or destroyed. It only changes form. So what does it do when you cancel it out? It becomes scalar energy. Scalar energy is an isotonic waveform. It, it 
goes back and forth from source to target to source. It's a standing wave. In other words, the frequency is such that the resonance keeps it in tune and, uh, and the waves, instead of adding or subtracting, come to a stable place, uh, whatever they're whatever they've been, you know, however they interfere with each other. And since you can program this all with Fourier Transform, then you can make waves of any shape, any direction, any power level, any modulation type. You see where I'm going with this? Now, in the background, we have GPS, cell phone, uh, the grid, you know, the power grid, and Wi-Fi. We are constantly being bombarded with background radiation in the microwaves, which allows uh, for many things. It allows for through-the-wall radar without a signal source, passive uh, through-the-wall vision. It allows for uh, all kinds of intermodulation. Imagine a grid of Wi-Fi uh, routers, one in everybody's home, and a Wi-Fi router and one on their power system, another smart meter, all putting out microwaves and controllable. Now we have these three, four sources that are all phased array they can all be pre uh, predicted, directed, and manipulated. So, you see where I'm going with this? Then we have satellites. Of course you can send a satellite, a gamma knife beam, a microwave beam, uh, a scalar howitzer, te you know, Tesla howitzer explosion, uh, through the earth tomography, all this stuff is possible with these things. So, I've spoken enough, use your thoughts, and let's figure this out, okay? God bless you all.